And I'm Bobby with Bougie, Bougie Builds. Builds. And we're here in Oceanside, California with our latest build. Nube Blanca. Which means white cloud. So this is a white Nissan NV200 van. It's a very small van, as you can see with us standing in front of it. Okay, we're as tall as the van, but that doesn't matter because this van packs a big punch. It's got everything you need to go off grid, go camping, go to the beach, go to the mountains. And have some fun. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna give you a tour. Stay tuned. Okay, so Chris is now gonna share with you some of the creative processes taking place to make this van the beauty that she is right now. Take it away, Chris. So this van came to us and it was a kind of a brownish yellow wood and it had some turquoise trim. So originally we were gonna get rid of the turquoise and then once we painted all the cabinetry white, uh, the turquoise just popped. So that just made us run with all this turquoise in here. So the first thing that we did is right here on the doors, okay, this is hand painted to look like a wood uh, beach fence. Uh, the turquoise here is a match to the turquoise inside. And we did this on both the panels. Um, we couldn't really decide at first what to do. It took a few days of just kind of looking at the van and feeling what felt right. Um, I always say the van creates itself. So the van started creating itself and the van wanted to be a, a beach babe. So that is what we aim to do is turn this little van into a beach babe. Uh, so this paneling on both sides. Um, and the next thing here is the window cover. So behind here are two windows. So there's one on each side. Um, we had the idea to make it so when the windows were actually covered, because at night when you're being stealth, you want all your, your windows covered. And, but we wanted to still give the idea that you're looking out the window at the beach. So Bobby took these pictures right here in Cabo and we basically cut them in a circle, got this little round thing here uh, at what one of the craft stores. And then we attached it to the Reflectix. So the Reflectix is going to help keep the heat out and the cold out. And then we covered it in this fabric. The fabric is indoor outdoor fabric. So it's made to withstand sun and heat and cold and everything else. Um, we have, as you see, we have one on each side. So these are the little windows. Look, this is like probably my favorite thing I've done in a van so far is make these little porthole windows. So in our van, we put a porthole window and everyone has loved it. Everyone that walks in our van comments about the porthole window. So I thought it'd be a really cool addition to have these in the back of the van. Okay, so step over here. Let me show you one of my favorite things to do, which is the epoxy resin. So cheers to that. Okay, so let me move our coffee cups out of the way. Put those over here. Okay, so right here we have a table. Let me move our, we got a lot of props over here. Okay. So the table goes down, obviously, when the door's shut, and we open it up in the day. So you can stand out here, you got your drink here. If you come in close, you can see this epoxy. I wanted it to be kind of muted because of the bright turquoise in the van. So we did a light turquoise stripe in it, we did white, and we did gray to just kind of pull all the colors out of the van. So we did the pop-up table, and then also the counter right here with the sink. So when this van came to us, it had a counter, but no sink, no water, no faucet. Um, this little area was just a solid countertop. So we went ahead and cut the hole for the sink using my favorite tool, the jigsaw, and cut the hole for the sink, placed this sink in stainless, put the faucet, um, Bobby tweaked it a little so it fit this small area. And so now we have a little workstation. I'm gonna come over here. So when you're out here, you can sit your drink here, you're hanging out with your friends at the beach, you got this whole little fun area. Uh, if you look right here, that's a little mirror, it's a white cloud. So when we saw that at the store, we knew that it had to go in this van. Just like I said, the van always kind of creates itself and that definitely went in Nube Blanca. So, okay, so let me show you this. This is the little outdoor kitchen area that we made. I'm gonna step back here, pull it all the way out. So we've got a cooktop right here. You can lift this out. Actually, you can lift the whole thing out. And you got your storage underneath. So you can do this any way you want. I'm, I did it the opposite way Bobby does, which is normal. And then 
This flips over. Bam, turn it on. There you go. Okay, so you're out here, you're cooking your meal. You got this. Now you want a drink, so you bring it over here. Cheers! Got drinks in the cooler. The cooler's ice cold. Anybody? Cheers! Okay, so we got a nice little kitchen setup back here. So when you got the table down, okay, you're making your meal, you got your drinks. You can also use this to sit things on. You've got your table on this side. So you've got a whole workstation back here where you can entertain your friends or just yourself at the beach. Okay, so we're gonna take this back apart, flip this over, and we're gonna slide it all back in. Whoop. There you go. So there's your kitchen, nice and tucked away. So when you're on the road, you close it down. You got everything hidden below here. Okay, okay so the next thing I wanna tell you about is um, this cushion right here. So we weren't quite sure how this was all gonna work out. Um, so with some trial and error, um, this whole piece slides out. I'm gonna let Bobby show you that. Um, and this is all one mattress. So it's a foam mattress. And we actually started out with a six inch mattress, which was about up to here. And when you sat down, you actually bumped your head. So we ended up having to scale it down and we have a three inch mattress. Um, we put a base on the bottom. So that way when you're sitting on the, the bed frame, it's the slats. So now it's a solid foundation at the bottom. So the bed's super comfortable. Um, it's a three inch memory foam, but it is a really comfortable bed to lay on. And with the base that we added to it, it uh, feels like a regular bed. Um, and this actually folds out. I'm gonna have Bobby show you how that works. Um, on the front of this, I'm gonna move so we can show you the handles here. So on the front of this, we needed some handles that were soft and that would not be in the way when people were walking in and out of the van. So we ended up taking some of this fabric here and we actually made our own handles that match the fabric. So again, this is heavy duty indoor outdoor fabric, um, super resistant to sun and rain and everything else. It dries super fast. And now we have the matching handles. So the other thing I wanna show you is if you come around here, inside of the storage boxes um, i actually took the same turquoise paint that we used around the van and i painted the inside of all the storage containers so now when you look in there's all this same turquoise in there and it kind of just brings it all together okay so if you want to step around to the side of the van okay so over here okay so one thing that our client asked for was uh, a toilet in the van. So I'm actually right now sitting on the toilet. Um, we actually made a box that the toilet sits in. So it is a cassette toilet. Uh, you can actually empty the bottom in any toilet. So it's super easy. Um, and I'm going to show you in a minute how this little box works, but it also added an extra seat in the van. So when you're hanging out at the beach, you can sit right here and look at the ocean. It ended up being a super great addition and we love how it turned out. Okay, so let me show you how this toilet works. I made this cute little pillow out of leftover fabric. Um, that's just kind of what I do. Um, we put this on here just to make it a soft seat if people want to hang out here. Uh, the toilet comes up. We have a magnet in place over here to hold it up. Here you go. Here's the lid. We still have the brochures in here. Um, but this is our little toilet. Um, when you flush, there's a handle down here. So we made it where you could access the handle from here. It's a nice little design that Bobby did. I'm impressed with that. And then right here we have little latches. So you can actually take this front down. And when it's time to empty the potty, you just lift it out, take it. The bottom is a cassette, so you take it to any toilet and dump it in the toilet and then just bring it back. Put it back and lock it back up. Ooh, that's pretty slick, huh? I like that. There you go. Close it back down. Put your thing back on there. Bam. And whoop. okay. Okay, so when the client brought us this van, uh, there was this little decoration here on the back. So this is a, a female rock climber um, she uh, owned the van previously. 
So the owner said, just go ahead and leave this in here because it's really cute. And maybe one day we'll actually meet the girl whose van this was before, which would be awesome. I bet somebody knows whose van this was. Um, but she's a rock climber, so we left this here and we just painted around it so it was nice and white and bright right here. Um, this is a little hook we put for your coat to go on. And then uh, another little decoration is be your own kind of beautiful. And we love that and hope it inspires whoever is in this van in the future. Okay, so what I'm gonna tell you about is some of the components that we ended up putting into the van here. Now, when we got this van, there was a partial build. So it was really difficult to kind of figure out how we were gonna put things in here, where it was gonna work. Um, the, cli the client wanted some um, uh, uh, specific things in here, wanted to be able to have some electric, some lights, um, some water in here. So we had to figure out where those components were gonna fit inside of this tiny little van. So. As Chris was telling you about, we ended up putting the sink here, but underneath the sink here, we've got a, a fresh water tank and a gray water tank. Now, again, these are small tanks, but they're good for a weekend trip away. Uh, last you probably a weekend on this. I ended up putting a, a water pump in here. So this button here turns the water pump on so that we can actually run our water out of this thing. Um, and so turning it on, turning it off gives us fresh water um, in the sink to wash the dishes, wash your hands, clean your face, do ever, whatever you want to do in this little thing right here. So that was kind of a key component that uh, the client really wanted in here. This little thing is called the uh, MTOM, and it is a Rebel 440 watt uh, power supply in this. And so with this, we've got three a, um, 110 plugs in here to be able to power um, our plugs. I went ahead and put a um, an AC uh, adapter right in here. So we can actually plug in, they can put their, their coffee maker here, um, they can charge their phones here, whatever else. That is actually running off the power supply that's inside here. The cool thing about this is a mobile power supply. We can put it in the van, but you can also take it out of the van and use it anywhere you'd like as well. This is also running our lights. So we were able to plug the lights in on this thing and then um, use it to actually um, uh, power the lights, but then also we have a 100 watt solar panel on top that we're actually charging this unit with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me show you how the bed actually works in this thing. So when we first got this, this was one continuous long panel in here to be able to pull out to actually make the bed and lay it all down. It was extremely difficult to do. So what I ended up doing was cutting the pieces in half and making two separate um, compartments that pull out, making it extremely easy using these handles that Chris talked about earlier. It slides out, I put a couple of drawer slides on there. So these things come out. So that one comes out and then come around to the front here and we pull this one out like so. Grab the bed and pull it down. And there is your bed right there. Put your pillow right there. You can actually take your curtains and pull them apart right here and those clip in and there's your full-size bed right there. So real easy to do. Um, uh, I wanted to keep it simple enough that um, um, it didn't take a whole lot of effort or strength to actually be able to do this. So to put the bed back up, it's really simple. Step back in. All you got to do is grab the back side of it, pull it forward, and slide the bed back. And then all you do is slide the two compartments in, and then push the bed all the way back, just like that. So, there we go. That is our bed. Okay, so in here, um, we've got a couple of things. One of the things about this right here was in, in a van that's so small, this becomes a, kind of a multi-purpose uh, countertop. So it can be your, your kitchen countertop, it can be um, your workspace. Um, it can be your table to eat off of. Um, put your laptop in here. You can watch movies from in here. Um, but also this is where we store um, the power source for the complete um, uh, unit right here. This little thing, uh, again, is powered by a 100-watt solar panel on top. And um, then it uh, takes that power and produces both 110 and 12 volt that we run all the rest of the equipment on in here. So this is a great little uh, unit right here 
that does all that we need as far as the power goes. Keep that all inside here, close that up. Hey, and finally on this side of the van, um, this is a small van, but it actually has two access panels. Um, these doors right here, we open the doors up. You can actually get a great breeze running through here. All three doors opened up and it really gives a lot of light inside of the, the van here. Um, underneath here, we kind of kept the original storage. We've got another drawer down here and that has uh, plenty of stro storage in here for clothes, for camping gear, for whatever you want to put in there. It's got storage. In Nube Blanca. Nube Blanca. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> you want to get me in? I want to get you in it. Okay, here is Nube Blanca. Wow. That is so much more beautiful. Wow. You guys were just playing with me with the little shots you were doing, huh? I know. We didn't want oh, you to wow. see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. that is so awesome. Like Custom made porthole <laughs> windows. Cool. With Portfolio. <laughs> and wait, Bobby, turn wait on the special it. lights. Wait for wait it. Wait for it. Oh, Nube Blanca, did you see it? Wait for it. Put all back together. I love it. Beautiful. There they are. Look at that. You want them to dance? Yeah, I do. Oh, make them dance, yeah, Bobby. Make them dance. Make, make them dance. dance. Make them dance, Bobby. You can do it. Bum, 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 bum. Winner. Winner. Woo, woo, Winner. Woo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so awesome. Really good. Okay, so there's your water tank. Okay, so. Oh. Look at that. That is. Whoa. And once it's all primed, it'll shut itself up. Woo, yeah, Nube Blanca. Oh, you got those blue lights for yeah. So that's that's for your water pump. This is mm -hmm. for your lights right here. I put some lights right back up here. Oh. See, Show put you. a new light strip right here. See? Yeah. 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 Okay. What else? Next. So next. Note B. So we can sit here and Custom. take a look at it. I like the mirror. Yes, you do know? you see what, what kind of mirror it is? It's a white it's cloud. A cloud. It's a white yes. cloud. Yes, yeah. Nubes. I mean, a Nubes, yeah. Hey, I see you. Yeah. I see you. Uh, you guys are so we did this right here for you. So now you've got power here. Beautiful. So your coffee Perfect. maker, it's plugs there. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Woo. We'll do that. And then you can go ahead and pull that out. It's a little tight in there, but it's. Oh. Okay, so. There's your and your toilet. No, no not your toilet. Yes, because your refrigerator. Shut the door. Hey! Cheers! Hey! Cheers! Woo! So what we did, what we did here. So you have your cooktop here. Yeah. Um, it is connected. It's, yeah, it's, it's already on. Power. Yes. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh -huh. um, but this will. This is. Um, you can run either butane in here. Okay. Yeah. Or the small green gas canisters. And you can run it, uh, the, the, this wire. Oh, so you put the canister underneath, underneath there okay. and run it through there if you okay. want to do Or the that. other one just sits in here. It's the same uh, orifice in there, so. Yeah, so, there's so no either problem. butane, it, it plugs right into here if you want to use the butane canister, right. real small yeah. one, or you can use the other one. Okay. Just right in there and does that. So that's there, yeah, that's plugged into the power. Okay, and that's, that's, that's going on. Is. That is awesome. awesome. Now. That's totally. <laughs> yeah. So these are magnet, so, so they just pull off. So it cleans your windows oh, up for you. Oh, magnetic. So they're magnetic. So they just go. Oh, you can practically hands. lift the van off the ground with these magnets. They're yeah. like yeah. rare earth magnets, so they're super strong. So those are actual photos from Cabo. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we're. Uh, yeah. So we, we wanted to keep kind of the rock <laughs> kind of stuff in there as well. Yeah. So memory. that's like the rock. We kept your rock climbing, girl. So let me show you what we got in here. Sure Wait, first let's that. look at the resin counters yeah. that oh, yeah, we yeah. Chris uh -huh. made just Those for are you. Beautiful. Those are really I, I did them a little nice. muted because I kept okay. trying to do less turquoise, but the turquoise just kept no, showing it's up. Really Aww, but it's the really turquoise perfect. looks pretty with the white, yeah. doesn't so it? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And I was kind of concerned about the um, color of the turquoise because I thought it might make it look kind of like a dated yeah. Right. Yeah. thing, but it's so pretty. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, it's... 
I bought that. <laughs> oh, you think you're really? Yeah. Oh, it no, goes Maddie's really cute. good with all this. <laughs> you haven't tried it out yet? Ours is a five Well, gallon. we've sat on it, but we haven't gone to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No? You saved that for But me. give me a little salsa and then I'll be in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Do you love your Again, man? I'm not a good actor. Do you love your man? I love it. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> 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 <laughs>